And this is the big reason why I got this trailer. So this dovetail, it's marketed as a 12,000 pound dovetail. So what that means is it'll lift 12,000 pounds. I mean, 12,000 pounds is different, not in weight, but the, the lift capacity, it's, it's different if you have the centroid here or if you have the centroid here. There's a big difference and I, I know you don't want to you don't want me to bore you with the math part of that unless you want to know I'd be more than happy to, to explain that part with you but this this right here helps significantly when I'm trying to get a car up on here or we got some freight that, that uh, may require a forklift or something and they need to get up on there another big plus and the reason why I, I chose to go with the air ride so I'm gonna leave it right there I can dump all of it so you can see now it's dropping the trailer down even more so you can see how far that dropped that down it lowered it significantly so I can drop the trailer down if I have lower loads I mean stuff that that um, needs to be able to, to get up there easily and that's it doesn't need to be so high so we can drop that we can drop all the air out and lower that down and then again So that will lift 12,000 pounds. Another add-on that I installed was this winch, 12,000 pound winch. And it didn't come with the mounting plate when I bought it, so I added this mounting plate using a triple pass weld on all the way around, top and bottom, right? So the way that I use this, I don't, I have the cable that plugs in if need be, but what I use is this remote. So I have it set up so that it's just on a, a complete remote control. So I can control this anywhere around the trailer or off to the side, that way, you know, safety reasons or what have you. But I mean, this is just a remote add-on that you can get for these types of winches. So this is what was on there before. As you can see, it's not a sealed case. It's not. It's not protected by resin or even an enclosed box. It's pretty open to the elements and we're driving through water, snow, the salt or what have you. So, I mean, all components are exposed. It looks like there's a little bit of a glazing over it, but if, if you look, I mean, that's gonna decay. And you can see in the back, I mean, 
it, it's it's pretty open to the elements so it wasn't even a year and it all died I mean I tried to call where I got the trailer I tried to call the manufacturer and I they really didn't even take my call so I scrapped the whole thing and I'll show you what I what I replaced it with so this here is the remote that I replaced the original one with set that up and you can see the difference right I mean this one is fully encased there's no there's no wide opening gaps for water debris any of that to get in there plus I mean it's up and out of the way right so and this goes really far I mean when I was doing the research on it, some were saying that it wasn't far enough or it didn't have a good distance, but I mean, this one does great. So I recently got a question about where I, I got my, my trailer. So Diamond C, the thing with them is you actually go on their website and, and you pick and choose what you want. I mean, some some dealers have them already in stock, but you know they may not have the electric over hydraulic disc brakes or they might not have the split axles like, like we've got here. Um, so it's, it's, it's all up to you. I mean, you can find some dealers that have them um, then you're getting into are you financing um, with the dealer or, or or something like that that's that's where the big questions come in right or are they gonna have everything that you want on your trailer so me personally I didn't order this trailer for hotshot I I didn't I didn't even plan on getting into hotshot I ordered the trailer but the capacity, the truck, everything that goes with that, I it was it was required that I get a CDL. So I I just took the classes, um, took the driving school stuff, um, and and got a CDL. But it wasn't for commercial purposes at all. It was just for for my own personal use. I mean I have cars and equipment and some projects that that I that I work on and have and that was the premise of all of this I mean I designed a cargo trailer into a travel trailer and I was going to place that on here and still have the space to be able to transport my cars and, and other equipment but unfortunately there was a couple of mishaps with all of that and we scrapped that idea. So now, I mean, I have a trailer, I have a truck. Why not see the country? So I just wanted to share. You can, you can go online with, uh, you can go online with the Diamond Sea website and, and pick and choose what you want. I mean, it's endless.